All right. So the balance or the equilibrium, okay? Now is the natural law, and this is this is really the intricacy of the system that comes in. Everything that we can describe within mathematics that describes the physical universe is based on equations. And equations mean that one side is exactly equal to the other side. Okay? That's a very delicate balance that one has to maintain. Okay? So here I put free fall in vacuum, acceleration equal to minus gravity, minus g of gravity, and velocity and displacement. Everything is based. So you cannot disturb this side, have to be exactly equal. Okay. Now, the same thing with the entire universe. Newton's law is f equal to g m m capital M little m divided by r squared. That's the force that every two objects in the universe they exert on each other. They are equal and opposite, okay? So the sun attracts the earth, the earth attracts the sun, but the amount of force that they exert on each other is exactly equal. Okay? It's not unequal. Just because the sun is bigger, that doesn't mean that the sun can aggress against the earth and disturb the balance. They don't. Okay? We do that. Humans do that. If humans are bigger, they become bullies. Okay? They try to, to, to actually impose their will on somebody else. Okay? So what we do, we disturb the balance. And then you see the consequences of that. And the consequences are great because God will create, will, we reestablish the balance, and that reestablishment of balance is the suffering that we have after that because we disturb the balance. These are natural laws. Okay? So here we go, even concept of antimatter. So we can describe it in, in the relativistic uh, notion of this, okay? So, but we see that the minus sign here, actually, which has come from algebra, tells you that is the consequence of algebra signifying that C of negative energy of antimatter. Dirac came from this idea, came up by, uh, uh, with this idea a long time ago, in the 1930s. But anyway, so table of periodic table, you see if I multiply those numbers by minus one, I generate all the antimatters, okay? So because the, the antimatter means that proton has negative charge and electron has positive charge. So we have antiproton and an anti-electron with positron, okay? So an anti-hydrogen would be a proton which has a negative charge, it's called antiproton, and a positron going around it just like us, okay? So, and, and so, so you can immediately do that by a simple multiplication so you know the operation. The operation is simple multiplication by a minus sign. So you generate all of these guys. But you still count. But you count in negative. You say minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. OK? Yes? All right. So no. I, have, I have some verses here from the scriptures. OK. So, so these, are, these are some of the verses in the, in the scripture. OK? So maybe somebody can read this. OK? This is. Uh, uh, go ahead and read it, somebody. Do you want to read it, please? Yeah. 2419. When you are harvesting in your field and you overlook a sheaf, do not go back to get it. Leave it for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow, so that the Lord, your God, may bless you in all the work of your hands. When you beat the olives from your trees, do not go over the branches a second time. Leave what remains for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow. When you harvest the grapes in your vineyard, do not go over the vines again. Leave what remains for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow. Okay, now we go to the next. Uh, okay, we go now. We go now. We go to the next uh, slide. Okay, and we have more scripture to read, and so we read it. Okay. Here you go. Go ahead and read it, please. Six two. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by men. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your initiator, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Okay, now the, the, the other slide, uh, we're going we're gonna to read from the scripture again, and, and we'll see here. 
2, 177. Righteousness is not to turn your faces toward the west or the east. On the contrary, righteous are those who believe in God and the last day, the angels, the scripture, and the prophets, and they give their money in spite of loving it to the relatives and the fatherless, the poor, the refugees, the beggars, and to free the slaves. And they uphold the contact prayer and give the cleansing charity, and they are faithful to their promise once they make a promise and they steadfastly persevere in the face of war and loss and during hardship. These are the truthful ones, and these are the God-fearing ones. I deliberately didn't put any title on this, where these verses are coming from, okay? So you may guess for yourself, okay, where they're coming from, but, but let me just tell you, okay? That the first one was Deuteronomy 24. That will come from the Old Testament. When you are harvesting in your field and you overlook a sheep, do not go back to get it. Leave it for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow, so that your Lord God may bless you in all the work you have at your of your hands. And then twenty is when you beat the olives for your, from your trees. Do not go over the branches a second time. Leave what remains for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow. And when you harvest the grapes in your vineyard, do not go over the vines again. Leave, leave what remains for the alien, the fatherless, and the widow. 